So what's going on guys, we're out of box here and welcome back to another preview video on MotoGP 21 and today we're going to be getting in and doing another 25% race but this time we're going to be taking the reins of Marc Marquez on the Repsol Honda who fingers crossed will be back in action in Qatar for the opening round and it'll be interesting to see if he does return what sort of pace he's got so uh yeah, we're going to get in. We're going to head to Argentina today and we're going to do a 25% race. So for the first video, we struggled a little bit. I've been doing a bit of practice now and sort of starting to get used to it. So hopefully you will see an improvement in my braking performance, which is where we were struggling. That's the biggest change in terms of this game, in terms of the handling is the braking. Um, and there's plenty of assists you can turn on. Um, or you can battle through it and learn. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty accessible for most players. So far, I think it will be. Um, but let's get down to the track. Let's head in. Six laps ahead of us at Argentina. Okay, then. So we are here on the grid. We're going to have to get in. And, yeah, let's see what sort of recommended setup they're saying. So they're saying medium front tyre. I could believe that. And they're saying hard rear tyre. I could also believe that. In terms of brakes, the game suggesting these ones here. So let's follow the game for now. Let's follow the game. Brake disc eight in. Ah, oh, inches. Ah, oh, I tell you what it is. I've changed it um, to miles per hour, but it's changed the. Uh, <laughs> it's changed the. Uh, obviously, this the like the length unit to inches rather than millimetres. Which is weird because I use milli millimetres and centimetres and then miles rather than kilometres. But, oh well. Right, that's going to do us for setup, I think. So, Marquez, let's see what we can do. Let's see what other tyres everybody else have gone for. Mostly mediums. Um, we're the only one with a hard tyre out there, I think, again. But let's see them. There's our teammate. He's on the third row. I think we're at the start of the fourth row. And there's Jack Miller. Looking very nice on that Ducati. So then, I have to start again. <laughs> I accidentally messed something up in the settings. I had to restart the game. Um, but we're back anyway. And uh, I've decided to go for a medium rear this time. I'm going to try it. So let's see how we get on. We're starting in the same place. And everybody else is as well. Um, but let's see what we can do then. I've sorted the camera. Oh no, I haven't. I thought I'd sorted the camera angle. Now I've sorted the camera angle. And we're off. So let's see what we can do. Marquez alongside our teammate Paul Espargaro for this season. It's going to be interesting to see how Paul gets on this year. Also how Mark gets on, as I said, coming back from injury. But... So far, nice move turn one. You can see, oh, 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 slight crash. Is that the Pramac that I collided with? It probably is. But the bike feels a bit slidey. I wonder if it's to do with this engine brake. I don't really know. I don't really understand, if I'm being honest, what the engine brake sort of does. So I think it does something to do with the uh, sliding. Um, but let's see. So, sitting in P12, we started P10. Again, we're on this 80% difficulty here. And as I said in the first video, Milestone is still working on the AI, so that's very much a work in progress. But so far, I mean, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm impressed with the AI, so if they're only going to get better, then... Uh, well, that can only be a good thing, can't it? But let's see. Can we get past Paul? Oh, gosh. Whoa, Alex. What's he doing? He's duffing us up there. Properly doing us over there. Into this final corner. He's through. We've been overtaken by our brother Alex Marquez. And now Navintia. Oh, man. Bastianini. Properly doing us over that. So as you can see, we're currently sat in P14. You know, we we sort of close up, but then in the breaking zone, we lose a lot of time. I still haven't mastered cornering. Let's see. 
pretty decent first lap, all things considered. Look at this Ducati getting alongside us. Look at the slipstream. Oh, 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 I hate this braking zone. I've been doing some time trial here. There's some practice. And this braking zone kept catching me out every other lap. As you can see, it's caught us out again. Oh, oh, side by side with Banyaya there. Looking forward to trying out the KTM. Especially that Tech 3, it has a lovely, lovely livery. They are good through the corners. Or maybe I'm just so bad through the corners at the minute. Oh, Banyai is through. Oh, the AI are relentless, aren't they? Falling back through the grid, but here we go. Picked up a decent exit to get Laquona. Into the final corner. Ending lap number two, 39.7, 38.3 from Mir. So we're still over a second off front runner pace, but it's better than the race at Qatar, where we were, what, two seconds? Well, over two, three seconds off front runner pace. So just take a look, right, at my tyres. Look at the state of my tyres, <laughs> especially the rear. Maybe I should have stuck with the hard rear tyre but we seem to be taking a chunk out of the front tyre as well I don't know what that's about so we'll have to wait and see won't we because we're only halfway through the race and you know I'd expect them to look like that on maybe the last lap whoa whoa being absolutely duffed up by Banyaya we're gonna find ourselves at the back but this time it's tyres Whoa! <laughs> it is tyres more than anything this time round. Into turn one a bit deep. Just overriding at the minute. Sat in P17. Maybe this is what is going to happen to Marquez in the season. I can't see it. I can see Marquez coming back with a bang. Even if he is injured still. He's still going to be up there. He at least podiums, isn't he? Out the corners, not too good, but then the AI slowed down on the straight, but that's due to the AI difficulty level. That's how the AI seemed to, or at least in the preview and on previous games, that's how they seem to lose time to adjust the difficulties mid-straight speed. Is they back right off down the straights, and that's why that's happened there, because I'm only on 80% difficulty, but Banyaya... Oh, look at the rear end getting all unstable. Can we get a knee for Banyaya? Come on, Mark. Let's do this. Yes. Oh, he may be even Jorge Martin. Oh, okay, we've sent him out wide. <laughs> we've sent him out to the crowd. I'll tell you what, the graphics are lovely on this game. They're really... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Huge crash huge crash so it was Paul Aspire that fell off but that was an absolutely huge crash there okay like in the previous video that was a, a practice <laughs> this time right we're gonna go for a hard rear tire and I'm kind of tempted by a hard front tire you saw how those tires went but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for the same brakes as last time. Same amount of fuel as last time. Just different rear tyre. And this time, we're going to try and get in the top 10. You know, we've warmed up a little bit already. So, let's see. Let's see. I think the AI's tyre choices are a bit off compared to what you have to choose as a player. But, like I said, the AI is still work in progress. And they'll probably fix that. For by the time the game comes out so let's see what we can do then see how we get on Palmo 3 off of the start gives us a pretty decent launch into turn number one We're going to take a wide line side by side with our teammate Paul Espargaro there who's on a very tight line and in fact the racing line as Zarko looks to get through as well 
And he does just that, but we go, oh, huge crash, huge crash. Oh my god, I think that was me, and then he took someone else out, and oh, we're getting side by side with Zarko there. Very, 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 very exciting start there. It's all popping off here. Oh god, we're really hitting some top end speed there. Into P7. And you know what? I've turned the engine brake down to 3. And that seems to be helping us out a little bit. I think it, it uh, just stops some of that sliding of the back end coming around, I think. Whoa, just like that. But that was more down to me <laughs> rather than engine brake. But there we go, into P7. Paul Aspargaro, our teammate there, just ahead. And Valentino Rossi, P5 on the Patronus. We'll have to get aboard his bike. Well, we've got access to the preview build. Give, give old Valley a spin round at one of the circuits. But let's see. As we uh, enter the final corner. Oh, look at that. Going underneath. I thought I heard what sounded like the bike scraping off the floor. But there we go. Paul Espargaro threw on him. And into turn number one then. Pretty deep. Breaking. If anyone picks up this game, breaking is going to be the one area they're going to have to focus on. But, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely more realistic if you want it to be. Like, I've got it on some pretty realistic settings. Not the most realistic, but pretty realistic. And it's, it's tough. It throws up a challenge. But we'd be moaning if it was just the exact same feeling game as last year. Which it is not. But I'm looking forward to trying career mode. Whoa, Paul giving us a push. Getting into a bit of a ding-dong battle with our teammate there. Still got Zarko behind. We're getting a bit excitable around there. Into turn seven. Oh, just not on it enough through there. See if we can get. Oh, can't even get the KTM back. Nope. Oh, give him a bit of a nerf. Oh, KTM sandwich. <laughs> oh, there's the Avinci of Bastianini. Looking pretty solid, isn't he? Uh, and we're back with our brother again. See if we can stay in the top 10. Oh, my God. Three wide around these final corners. The AI seem way more lively <laughs> and willing to battle than last year and it's still not the final AI so really impressed with that the graphics look really nice I must say I'm excited to see this on next gen this is on PC on very high settings 2k resolution as well and it looks incredible be good to try out 4k don't know if our PC will run 4k we're on 2k at pretty much ultra settings and we've been overtaken. He's AI strong. Here's Quattararo. Aha! Get him back. Down the straight into the braking zone. Back into the top 10. Oh, I've just run it so wide there. Just snapping the brake. It's when you just pull the brake too hard. You have to modulate it. Heading into the braking zone. Didn't have to do it too much on MotoGP 20. Like I say, it's just they've improved the brake physics. And by improved, made it more realistic and slight bit of contact there and down. Oh, we're on the grass. That's not going to help. Come on, Mark. Bit of a uh, bit of uh, motocross. Let's see. Our pace is yeah, it's a bit all over the place at the minute. The problem is now I've got no front tire again. <laughs> Oh, as you can see, as you can see, art in the mouth moment. Oh, my word. Oh, come on. This has to be one thing they have to improve for the release of the game with tyre wear. Because it seems a bit off at the minute. I think they had it perfect in MotoGP 20. 
but uh, seems a bit off at the minute. Well, that's just first impressions. We've only done two races right now. But I'm pretty sure it should be a medium front tyre around here. I mean, it's down to riding style as well. I'm struggling on the brakes. So I'm probably putting more pressure through the front tyres than I need to right now, but I don't know if we're going to be able to close back up, but I don't want to run out of fuel again. The first race we did, we ran out of fuel and finished last. I don't want to do the same. I want to get... Come on, let's see if we can get Laquona and get in the top 15. But you never thought I'd be saying this. The Banyaya's there as well. This has been a better lap. I think I've been... Whoa, contact. Who else is down? Valentino Rossi's down. Miller's down. I think... Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa, Salvadori! <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right, okay. Maybe we're not going to get P15. Crazy, crazy AI. I see what they say, what Marstone say when they sent this build. They said that the AI is still not final, so things like that. <laughs> But, makes it all exciting, doesn't it? Valentino Rossi and Miller hitting the deck. Mir's there as well. Ooh, the rear tyres are seeing better days. Power mode 3. Let's go! Unleash the beast that is this Honda. Look how quick! Look at it! That was better on the brakes. Here we go, underneath of Alicia Spargo. And I tell you what, intestine, the Aprilia, are looking pretty solid, but when it comes to full race spec, let's see what the other teams do. I don't know if Aprilia, they're bound to be a bit stronger than last year, but I don't think they'll be like a KTM where they took a few wins. Here we go. Oh, rear tyre, rear tyre, asking for the power, come on. So far, the game's recommendations with the brakes has been pretty spot on, to be honest. I haven't had any issues in terms of overheating brakes or under or too cold brakes. But anyway, we've got one more lap to go. I'm having to save a bit of fuel here. We might run out if we're not careful. And that's costing us time. The fight with Alicia Spargo right now. Uh, that lap time was a 41 flat. And the tyres have definitely seen better days. 38-3 from Miller. Come on, let's keep the lace behind. See if we can get a uh, Mir. Oh, Marquez, concentrate on the handlebars. Oh, God. Mistake there from me. And I've got to empower my one just to save fuel, but... They're getting away now because of that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, Banyaya. <laughs> Just about getting it stopped. I think the AI might be struggling with their tyres now. I don't know. We seem to be keeping up with them now. But, I mean, my tyres have been worn for laps and now they're struggling. Come on. Let's see if we can get these two. Might be able to do something. Oh, it's so tentative asking for the throttle. Underneath of Mir, yes. Into P16, Luca Marini's there in P15 trying to get a top 15. We ain't going to do that. Uh, oh, they're both back through. Let's cut back underneath. This is exciting racing. I know we're fighting. We're in the backpacks, but uh, it's been exciting side by side racing. And we've got absolutely nothing left in terms of tyres, but it's a massive improvement over that first race at Qatar. We finished with enough fuel. <laughs> and we got into some interesting battles. So, Vinales took the win from Rins, Morbidelli, Paulo Spargaro, Miguel Oliveira, Petrucci, Binder, Quattararo, Alex Marquez, P9, and there you go. Flick through the order. Very exciting stuff. So then, that has been it for today's video on this preview build for MotoGP 21. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is my second race on the game. We've made a vast improvement over the first race we did at Qatar. So 
Where are we going to go to next? I don't know. We could go to Austin, Texas next, maybe. We could go to Valencia, Malaysia. I think we can go to as well. There's only nine tracks here on this preview build, but all the riders. So we're going to get in. I'm going to do as ma many riders as I can while this build is available. It's only available for, for a few days. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for plenty more MotoGP 21 preview content. And if you enjoyed this one, remember to smash that like button. Do let me know down below what you enjoyed most about this video and this gameplay. What you like about the game so far. What you hope they improve before the final build. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you're going to be picking the game up at the end of April. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you in the next one.